All right. <coughs> Excuse me. I got thinking some of y'all might not know how to properly pull a big one out. So I wanted to kind of show you. What I do is I dig a big hole all the way around it. Because you don't know what's under the ground. And once you get this trench dug out, you go in there with your hands and you just start pulling the dirt back. Now, I use a digger that's got to point it in that way. And then my digging side here. That way I can cut these roots. Because they will get tangled up in your sign. And you go to pull on it, you'll break your ginseng. I broke many of them, guys, over the years. So, and you got your little hair roots that's going to try to hang around. So, you got to get down in there and get them out. Because the more the hair roots you pull out and everything stays together like that, the better. The more money you're going to get. So, see the big hole? I mean, I even got a scoop. I probably need to stand up. I mean, it was sitting in there like that. You can see the monstrous hole I dug to get it out. So. Those are the ones I look for. That's If you dig those and specifically hunt those, you're going to get more money for your ginseng come the fall. I mean, it's just that simple. It really is. Any honest buyer, any good buyer will pay you more for walking by the little stuff. So, and if they don't, find you another buyer. If they don't, you in Kentucky, call me. Message me. I will help you find someone. I mean, well, I'm going to get this in my pocket. Y'all have a good one.